My mom was a girl guide leader and she had a week-long camp coming up so she decided that I would stay at her friend Eileen's place. I was fine with staying at her place I got along with her very well. Truth be told I had a crush on Eileen. The week had arrived. Mom dropped me off at Eileen's gave me a kiss and left. She took me to her spare room where I was to stay and got me all settled in. Evening approached very fast. A storm was creeping in I could hear thunder. Even at the age of 15 I was terrified of storms from an early run in with a tornado. Eileen said if I'd liked I could grab my blanket and sleep in her bed with her. I jumped at the chance. I woke up and knew something was off. I just didn't know what, I was still really tired so I just went back to sleep. Around 8.30 Eileen woke me up. I wet the bed. I started freaking out but Eileen calmed me down hugged me and told me it was fine. She told me to jump in the shower she would take care of everything. I got out of the shower and Eileen met me in the hallway. She told me to get dressed quick we had to go shopping. I went in the bedroom and looked at my duffel bag. The window was left opened and all my clothes were soaked. I closed the window as it was still storming grabbed my duffel bag and went to get Eileen. She grabbed my clothes threw them in the laundry room and told me to come with her. She had some spare clothes. I followed her still wrapped in my towel to her room. She pulled out girl underwear spandex workout shorts and a girly tank top. I was horrified. She apologized and said it's the best she had and the underwear was brand new. I ended up putting it all on thinking only she would see me. Apparently I was very wrong because when I went downstairs she had my clothes in the washer and told me to jump in the car. Being as how I had a crush on her I listened. On our way she kept giggling at me and joked with me. She said maybe we will buy you some heels and a bra. I was so embarrassed I just smiled and then sat there. Finally we made it to the grocery store. Went picked up a bunch of food and random things she needed. It seemed like it took forever and I just wanted to leave. I didn't want anybody I knew to see me. Eileen finished up and we went to the car. I assumed we were going home. Again I was wrong, she said she just needed to stop at Walmart and buy a couple things but I could wait in the car. I did so gladly. We finally made it home unloaded the car and she put everything away except for the two Walmart bags. I didn't really pay attention. I went to go sit on the couch. Even though I couldn't watch the TV as the power had went out at some point. Eileen came in with the bags. Out of them she pulled two packs of adult diapers and some wipes. She said she didn't care if I had accidents but she would like me to have a diaper on. She was being really nice but I really didn't want to wear a diaper. Then she said the magic words. If I wore the diaper I could sleep in her bed. She was trying to be nice but I just wanted to sleep in her bed with her. I quickly agreed. The rest of the day went on pretty normal. The power came back on I got my clothes back. Although Eileen told me not to change we were staying home anyway and no sense dirtying more clothes. We turned on a movie and cuddled up on the couch. We both fell asleep but when I had woken up apparently I peed again. I freaked out. Eileen woke up and asked what was wrong. She clued in and asked if I fell asleep. Not thinking I said no I was awake. Then shut myself up again. She smiled said it was okay and told me to jump in the shower. When I got out of the shower I went straight to Eileen's room where my stuff was. Eileen met me there and asked me to put on a diaper and that until we figured out what was happening she would like me to wear them 24-7. I was shocked, no way was I going to wear a diaper specially all day. But she kept on asking. I finally caved. She asked me if I knew how to put them on. It was an actual diaper. Of course I didn't know how. So she told me if I was okay with it she would diaper me and change me. She made it clear only if I was okay with it and only until I gained control again. So hesitantly I agreed. Eileen got me to lie down on the diaper and told me she would do the rest. I did as I was asked but made sure no eye contact was made as I was embarrassed. 
She did up the tapes and told me just put on some comfy clothes as we were staying home and it was already four o'clock. So I put on a t-shirt and sweatpants then went downstairs. That evening Eileen asked if I'd like to go for a walk with her. Not even thinking about the diaper and more on a romantic walk with her I agreed. She asked if I needed a change before we went. I told her no I was good as I was still dry. We headed out for our walk, I wasn't too worried about anyone seeing the diaper as my sweatpants would hide any bulges and it was pretty late so no one would be out really. Although it did crinkle a lot which made Eileen smile. Halfway through our walk I really had to pee but there was nowhere to go, I was positive I could hold it. Besides it's only when I was asleep I had accidents or so I thought. Being as how we were in town it's not like I could just pee anywhere but we weren't close to any stores or restaurants. Then Eileen decided that we should go to Tim Hortons for a coffee. I thought I could make it there. I kind of picked up the pace as the urge got stronger. We finally turned the corner and there it was I could see it. I was going to make it. Then all of a sudden I let go and flooded my diaper, it swelled up so much it made me walk funny. Instantly Eileen knew what happened but told me it was okay tats what they were for. She tried to tell me my waddle wasn't noticeable even though it was. I was really embarrassed now and all I wanted to do was hide. But Eileen told me we were still going to Tim's. I just agreed and walked as normal as I could there. Once we got there I told her I was going to the bathroom to take it off but she insisted I kept it on just in case. I would never argue with her so I agreed again and sat in my wet diaper and waited until she came over with our stuff. We sat there a while enjoying our drinks. Oddly enough I forgot about it and just enjoyed myself. We finished up and went back home where Eileen finally changed me. So I had a fresh diaper for bed. The rest of the week went the week went by and I was still wetting uncontrollably throughout the day and night. Eventually I didn't care if anyone saw my diaper or saw that I was walking funny. When my mom got home we explained what was happening and she took me to the doctors. Apparently there was something wrong with my bladder. It took me two weeks after to get control again. Some days I really miss wearing diapers though.